E here coming to you with another update of the Hogwarts mock. I know it's been, well, two weeks almost since my last update, for which I do apologize, but I have been doing other things and everything that has been connected to LEGO was basically me sorting out all my pieces, buying compartments to store the pieces, and basically designing things that are not really worth showing as of now. Uh, I really prefer when I do make a video and show you something to have, if not a finished product, then at least something that you could enjoy in a way and not a naked skeleton of uh, something that doesn't really look like anything, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, what I will show you now, however, is the towers that I've been making for the Grey Hall. But first, uh, some uh, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, initially, as you know, well, I guess I'll show you a picture, but this is the backside of the Grey Hall, which you have seen before, and this is a, a test wall here that I've just placed so far for the time being. Now, you know, these pillars they go up and they end up on these little towers. Now, I had um, this idea to, well, I always try to make whatever I do really as accurate as possible. I know that's not 100% possible ever, but I try to do my best uh, to at least get to a point where I am satisfied of the final product. However, here with these towers it's been quite a predicament. Since why? Because the towers themselves are not thicker than the pillars they originate from. So because there isn't an arch that is two studs long, it makes it kind of difficult. So the smallest one I know of is this one, which is three studs long. So I was thinking, well, initially, why should there be archways at all? Couldn't we just use like like a window, something like this, for example, you know? Uh, or there is even a bit longer variant as well. Um, and I was like, well, don't really like it. Plus, if you use the window, uh, you need to find something to cover it because these shouldn't be see-through uh, from what I've seen in the pictures. And then I decided, well, what if we use the free archway? But then uh, what happens is that we can't really place it here, see? Because, well, otherwise it's offset and that annoys me. And I thought about it and decided that, well, what if we put these, I don't know what they're called, like they're called they're one by two with a little dot in the middle. My camera is doesn't want to focus on it. There we go. And we cover this whole, uh, this whole area with those. And that way we can have the archways basically being dead center of the pillars. And that looked fine. And uh, it was a great idea. And although uh, this causes the building to be a bit longer because, uh, how should I explain it? Well, if you take this and you want to place a pillar here, like an archway here, it means that this little half of stud is you know, sticking out and this one stud is sticking out of the whole building. And that was fine because the end pillars do stick out. And that was working out fine too, but as I placed everything, it turns out that I just, I mean, it did look as I thought it would look, but the space between one of the towers and the other towers is now one stud and it just looks a bit 
crowded i don't know like a bit forced a bit it's like too much and i thought about it and i thought about it and i was like something has to change uh I need to modify this somehow and I went through a whole process of thinking for a few days not really touching it just not really stressing over it just letting it get to me and the options I thought about was abandoning this whole three stud archway altogether abandoning the uh, one by two with the dot in the middle idea or simply just ignoring the accuracy a little bit and not having an archway above every pillar which means that there will be an archway here for example here there won't be a tower it will be like uh, there will be space and then we'll have another one and so on and that seemed like the best idea and then eventually i thought well <sighs> so basically i did some math and this whole section is uh, 56 studs long, all right? And in order to fit everything, let's say the windows, if we want to be accurate, are nine rows. Nine rows of windows is nine by two, 18. Now, if we make the pillars, the pillars actually thicker, we'll have 30. Because it's 3 by 10 because we have pillar window pillar window and another pillar in the end right so we have 30 plus 18 48 which leaves us with eight studs to make this big archway of windows in the end which is not enough because the whole archway we wanted to be eight so we need another three and then I thought well what if I use the extension like one on one side and two on the other side and let's use the two on the side where it's connected to the courtyard and that could actually work so the math actually made sense so i decided to actually make uh, the whole this whole section of the wall on both sides to make it from scratch and this is what uh, the end result is and there you have it this is the front wall redone Basically everything from the bottom up has been redone. The pillars are now three studs wide. They are colored. It's not simple tan uh, pillars. They're more colorful. I've added some um, new bricks. Also that eliminates the problem of the archways not being dead center because now there are also three studs wide and that means that everything is fine this way the distance is now two studs not one which means when you look from afar it looks much much better again it should be more but then again if i want everything to be fine this whole structure will be probably around nearly two meters long and that's just not gonna happen for the time being so but yeah, it looks really a lot better because before it was just one stud between two towers and it just didn't look good to me. Um, now, this way we have, I think, everything looking a lot better. Basically, uh, I have one stud sticking out of the building, so this is one stud sticking out. And here we have two studs sticking out and why is that because I've actually started to design the uh, front which will be a different module and this one will kind of connect to it so it doesn't that's why it's empty here but it will look basically it will fit and s slide in into the uh, front gate slot and the courtyard slot that I'm making and again I have made quite a bit of it but again it looks kind of ugly and it just it's a skeleton basically and i want to make a little bit more before showing it to you now i want to talk about these towers again and why now let me slide this again and explain now in the movies 
if we want to follow the movies, this pillar and this these towers here on the very end, this side and the far side next to the entrance. We have these archways here, one archway, second archway above, but we have another archway here. And initially I thought, well, how I'm gonna do this? Because you have a uh, three stud, basically space, and another three stud, but this one, this pillar here, it's shared, and you can't put two of these here. And uh, luckily I found these, these elements, basically this upper part here. And I'm going to take out now, yeah, there we go. This, basically, this is half an archway. And if we place four of them, as I have done here, it creates this archway from this side and from this side. Now, one thing that kind of uh, <laughs> was a problem afterwards, after I found out that you can place a one by one brick here, so it doesn't, because I don't want uh, to be able to see behind it, because in the pictures you can't see through it. On the back side, if I can show you, see there is a hole here. And I thought, well, it's not a big problem. Uh, it's gonna be covered probably with the roof here, but I still, is there a solution? And actually there is, there are these uh, little kind of like tunnel shaped pieces and they fit exactly there. No strain on the uh, pieces whatsoever. And I have ordered some of those just to make everything nice and perfect. Now, as you can see, we have not done this here because I only have four of these and I have ordered some more. Basically the end towers will have, uh, we will not be using these arches, we'll be using four of these little half arch pieces, one here and one above. So it will be the same over here. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it's quite, it was quite a, a challenge, quite a change. And I really thought about whether I should do it or not. Uh, halfway through tearing everything apart, I was like, well, what did I do? This was a bad idea. It, it's not gonna look good at all. I should probably just put it back together and basically just ignore the continuity and say, well, it's not going to be an archway here. It's just going to like skip everything and not be accurate. But um, I'm glad that I uh, kind of persevered and started building. And I, as I built, for example, I think it was this part here and saw that it was actually looking pretty good and thought, well, um, actually, let's stick with it and keep building. It took me about um, I'd say seven, eight hours with breaks, of course, for food and relaxing and resting a little bit, but uh, around seven hours, seven, eight hours, I would say, uh, of building. What I can say is this is a uh, very part intensive, um, but I don't regret it. Uh, these pillars here, because uh, they weren't connected to the building, these these pieces here, I can show you from the side. Yeah, they, these, these are not connected and they're kind of, you know, they're stable, quite stable, but still you can like, if you grab them by mistake and you can take them out and it's kind of, you know, just something to keep in mind. These are part of the building and they're very sturdy. And once or twice I had to go back a little bit because I found that there was a few changes I could do and make like swap some pieces and just make a few cosmetic changes and uh, it was quite a challenge to get back and take everything this apart or even lift it a little bit so I can fit some pieces in uh, so it's very sturdy very sturdy and um, actually I, I like it a lot the, it was that way 
And uh, yeah, I've uh, done some details here again. They're the same, changed the archway here in the details. It was obviously a bit different, had to be accommodated with uh, the new style. Here uh, we've used uh, these uh, one by twos, one by ones. Um, and yeah, I uh, ended up on this design here. Basically we have four elements, this one, a three by three, uh, what do you call this? Like, uh, it's me what it's called. <laughs> pyramid like shape is not pyramid. It's like a uh, cylinder. Yeah. Kind of cylinder, I guess. Uh, and the standard one and a one by one. And this, uh, is the one that I really liked as the top. And I think it looks really well. Uh, I look from, I look at it from uh, afar and going close and I can say that I'm Satisfied can be done better probably uh, if you think that uh, you have something like a good suggestion Please share and tell me uh, Sometimes when you get into something so much you start uh, To Basically not make any steps and your brain is uh, Kind of blocking so I might be missing something, but I think uh, this is looking pretty good now I will have to uh, do the same with the other side. Obviously it will not be the same because there is the chimney and the fireplace and there, the windows are not going to be this many. And uh, it's going to be a bit different here. Instead of this, we'll have the archway going into the building that is leading to the grand staircase. Uh, I'll have to think about it a little bit. Basically now that we know the model and how it is and that it looks good, that it works. I think it would be a lot easier. I have to say that some of the parts required I probably don't have anymore, so I will have ordered them and they will take some time to come and get to me. Uh, but in the meantime, I will keep working on the um, courtyard and basically the side that connects to the building and the front gates. Uh, and the moment I have some of it done basically i will show you really excited to show you how i've tackled that problem and uh, yeah if uh, you have any comments please share like subscribe it uh, means a lot to me to hear your feedback thank you for watching and i will see you next time